Um, let's get back to the main menu again. Keep hitting continue for some reason. Yep. Quit without saving. That's pretty much... You got it. Can load game. This time load. You really don't have to do this to me. is what I want. Load. I'm, I'm going to get off that ledge. If not, I have to kill the other thing. If it sticks me on this ledge, I have to kill the other thing. Yeah. What a pain. Do I have any weapons? I didn't sell anything. Just... There we go, weapons. I got a sword. I got- oh, the raven sword! That, I bet I- I bet I was supposed to use that. Uh, well, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to go back to that same location and do that to it. We're going to spawn it, go back. Yeah, I get it. And it's just going to keep running at me. I'm just going to do my little cheap... Uh, Cowering move over here. Just spawn back. Basically, what's happening is if it spawns too high, it puts it back uh, to that spot. Yeah, that did it. Well, this will take a while, but I'm going to kill it. I'm not going to bother getting up there and uh, doing it legit. I mean, I'm pretty much done with the game, so... Let's do a fantastic, uh, fantastic um, exit. Stage left. Um, so, uh, let's see, what, what do I want to talk about? Um, this is, would be a great time. <laughs> Things that, uh, YouTubers talk about, um, we can talk about that. Take a while. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna run at it and then kill it, and then it spawns back. I really like my arrows. Oh, there we go. Kill it. Kill it. Chop its feet off. Chop its little toes off. Where to go? All right, you'll just have to spawn back where you originally started. That. Um. Yeah, that was good. That was pretty good. And it's going to run back. Slow 
slowly cutting into its feet. At least I don't have to fly one of those things and do this thing. Yeah, you know, I have to fly one of those little, uh, creatures, whatever they're called. Because that would be a pain. The AI is really smart in this game. Have I ever said that? AI is brilliant. World of Warcraft, uh, their AI is kind of like this. Um, but I guess their excuse is that it's a multiplayer game. And massive multiplayer games don't usually... They don't really ha have the resources to make great AI. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's changed. Maybe maybe I'm a. Uh, um, uh. I think my real gripe about the game is just that it took just took an amazing amount of time. <laughs> It's just, a, it's just an incredible amount of time, that game. That, and the fact that, um... You, know, you have different levels. And the levels, you know, the levels... There's some players that would actually, uh, start new characters together and agree never to level, you know, past, you know, two or three levels above one another just so they could enjoy the game together. Um, I mean, if you have to do that, then that's pretty bad. That's really bad. It's not like a game like, uh, it's not like the games that I used to play where you, you where you learned, where your experience was gained by the, the amount of, you know, time that you spent, you know, playing it. Not versus the amount, my, amount of time you spent. Oh, what am I saying? The progress, you learned, you, you progressed, the progress of playing the game was based not on the, the time that he had spent on it, but the learning experience. I guess. And everyone's, you know, exper learning experience, I mean, it's all different, but, um, I mean, that regard, there we go, um, in that regard, I mean, you could train each other. But when it's all based on levels, then it's, um, I mean, it's both, really, in World of Warcraft. You still have to, there are some things that you have to, uh, that, uh, oh, that's scaring me. <laughs> I really don't want to see that place again. Um, I don't know. Tribes is a game where you play in teams, you learn as a team, if one of your teams uh, team members isn't able to make it for a while, you can always get them back to speed. Whereas World of Warcraft uh, may have that, but most of it, most of the time is based on just the time. And one of you has to not spend the time on the game in the order for the other to catch up or just face not being together playing in pairs, period. Just heed his, his advice. You just said leave. Alright, the Tower of Archmage is no more. 
giant earthquake uh, took it down. And there's some stuff you can read. I'm the knight and champion, okay. Yeah, Tribes is a real awesome game. That is just such an amazing game. Back in 1998 or 1999, and I didn't even know about it. The amazing thing is I was playing other games. I didn't even know about night about, about tribes until way in like 2001 or something. I really wish I did, but you know, I was occupied with other things. Um, but it was a game that probably around that time or even before uh, when Descent, which is a space uh, flying game, um, was out. You know, I was really thinking when I, you know, read about the sun. You know, I didn't have a copy of it or anything, but I was really into it. Or, I mean, I was really interested in it. Um, it's, um, I, you know, I was thinking, you know, why can't the scent be paired with, um, any land-based game, really? Where you both have the ability to fly in the air and walk around. And that's what Tribes is. Tribes has that. You have uh, those uh, shrikes that you can fly around and you know everything's on ground level. You can ski. That's a mechanic that uh, they didn't realize until uh, so I have to talk to all these um, Yeah, it's just a ma an amazing game. I think it still is. You know, even even the third one, the second one was uh, great. Um, the third one, um, you know, there was mixed reviews, but I always loved it. I'd say that was my probably my most favorite one. The third one, um, I think it was just getting things down to um, casual. I, it felt more casual that game, and that's really what I am. I'm. I don't like to get into gameplay as much as some um, and that's why you know I appreciate games that uh are you know they uh, are simple. I mean, the first part of uh of GTA. Is uh okay? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, you know, the first part of GTA is you know basic. Uh, some of those missions are, and then there's those missions that are just frustrating. But I think uh, you know somebody out <gasps> there is going to make a lot of money if they can make. A great game that has everything that their games have, it, and they make it. The keyword is casual, because you know people. Um, these aren't kids anymore. Kids aren't playing games. Um, I think Minecraft is like that. It, it can be played casually, um, but. Um, I think when he, I think, uh, you know, with Minecraft, I loved it at the very beginning, and then the magic stuff, more recipes, and the food, especially the food, that's when, I mean, that's really when it really got to me. And that game, I mean, as far as the crafting system goes, um, they really need to drop that, drop the crafting system, and make it something where you select the items that you want. 
it tells you what you need it combines it automatically combines it doesn't ask you to put the recipes in a pot or anything just just make it there's no there's no need for that anymore I mean the game is out it's, uh, everyone loves it. you don't, you can stop with the uh, whole um, you know if you could please stop it with the whole um, making things advance like that like re recipes and stuff I mean that's that was the mystery of the game if people wish, wish to play the game in mystery mode they very well uh, should have the opportunity <laughs> but a lot of us um, I just don't want to look up recipes I just want to play that game um, you know if uh, I need to go to X place to get the stuff um, it should say you know you have to go here and you know that'd be a nice idea but add quests to that game you know, say, now we need to... I mean, that would be kind of cool. You can make a story out of it. But I think he sold it, so I think that was the whole uh, problem with it. Um, so this is um, Ravenstone, or Raven Sword. And... Uh, there's the Lost Miner, there's... Uh, oh, forget it. Yeah. So I think you've seen, let's see, um, as far as the quests go, when you're ready to pay five and gold, meet Lee and uh, uh, collect your reward. I've already done that. Six above, assist. I probably already did that. Missing shipment, I may have done that. Robbery. Oh, forget it. Yeah, really, just forget it. You saw the game here. Um, I think there's like a, somebody else who's doing a walkthrough who's probably, um, probably not doing it through, you know, reading a walkthrough, but, uh, or I mean, a, a let's play. Um, I don't know if it was com if he added commentary or, or not, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is my first, uh, complete walkthrough or complete let's play. Um, and like I said, you know, I've, I've uh, listened to, uh, like, the first uh, 20, you know, 5 through 20 um, episodes. Um, I know it's not perfect. I know there's a lot of imperfections, um, especially, you know, just, I mean, if I'm going to get really uh, into it, I mean, I'm, like, into the uh, imperfections. I mean, there's some spots where I, you know, I said things that didn't make any sense, uh, over complicated things, you know, things like that. And that's just part of learning, uh, um, that's part of just learning how to do it, I guess. Um, I have a, um, I've created a Google Docs form where you can, uh, where you can, um, if you wish to, uh, go over it. Uh, that'll give me some feedback that I can quickly uh, uh, read through and spot any uh, imperfections I've been making. Um, I don't know some. I hate to. I really hate to say this, but some of them, these imperfections that you're hearing that, through my commentary, are just permanent. I uh, think that they're just things that you're just. If you're, if you like, you know, whoever's watched this, if you like. What you've seen so far, and you can deal with imperfections, and great. If not, I don't think there's anything that's going to change. And I'm really sorry to say that, but it's true. Um, you know, these are the imperfections I've lived through, and uh, I don't know if the issue was is with my mic or if it's just the game or whatnot. Um, but you know, it's just things that you know. They haven't affected me or anything, so I haven't really noticed them until, you know, I actually listen to uh, my uh, own commentary. I haven't really noticed them. So, you know, there's always a chance that uh, things will improve, and um, there's a chance that uh, I could become a professional Let's Player and uh, even make money out of it. Um, I will adopt the making everything Creative Commons, licensing every... every bit of my uh, YouTube uh, work under the Creative Commons no matter what. Um, I don't think uh, 
it will any way or form affect um, a professional YouTube player. I think uh, the channel itself is what sells the uh, content, not the video. Um, because otherwise, um, this is just a video of mixed content. Um, mixed content as in this is a developer's game with their music and my commentary over it. Um, so you could very well just listen to somebody else's commentary. I mean, you get this, probably get the same thing. Um, there might be different quality uh, qualities of it. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Uh, I the game's over with. Um, next uh, next up is uh, Grand Theft Auto. I'm on like uh, episodes. I don't know what episode I'm on. I don't remember the last.